Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome to the Art Cake Experience channel. Uh, today, I'm here showing you this cute little vintage Christmas girl that I just made for one of my classes in the Art Cake School, my online school uh, that I'm just specializing on sugar paste modeling. And today, I just want to show you a small video on how to make the fabric of the dress. This video is going to be free here for you and as well as in the online school and you can just enter on the links below to check out the promo of this class to see all that is inside waiting for you and I'm going to show you how to make this cute little fabric for this little girl. Hope you like it, hope you enjoy it, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching! Hello my friends, so today I'm going to show you how to make the fabric for the dress of a little girl that I'm making for my um, upcoming Christmas class in the online school, The Art Cake Experience. And for the ones that are watching the class, because this uh, part of the class is going to be available on YouTube, uh, thank you for keep being here with us. Uh, this little part is going to be a small freebie for the um, my YouTube channel, so people can know and subscribe to this class. Um, for my friends who have been uh, modeling the little girl, you know that we already made the um, the, the structure of the body we have uh, her boots her legs and the underskirt so now we're going to do the dress the dress is going to be covered with um with a coat but i want to give a a, a cute peekaboo to the fabric underneath the coat so it's not just it's not just a coat so i'm going to roll out this green i like this green because it's not it's not Christmas Christmas green. It's more like a vintage green. I like it. I like it very much. And uh, since this doll is a little bit vintage, so we're going to roll out this as thin as we can. And I'm going to try to roll it into a rectangular shape. Okay. Let me just put some cornstarch here and here. Just to roll it out as thin as I can. If you have a pasta machine, uh, it's great to roll things very, very thin. But since not everybody has it, I'm going to show you how to roll it with your rolling pin. Okay. And I'm going to cut a rectangular shape. And when I cut it, I can make sure because usually the borders are quite thin and we think that the sugar paste is thin and it's not. So when I cut it, I realize, for example, here it's still a little bit thick and I can roll it a little bit more. Let's just remove these parts we're not going to be using right now. And I'm gonna try to roll this thinner than it is. Don't worry if it's not even because we're going to keep rolling later, okay? I'm cutting it creamy, so don't worry about it. Sorry that I'm moving this, guys. Okay, now that I have sort of a stripe, sorry, <laughs> I keep, I keep, uh, moving the camera okay so now that we have the stripe sort of it's sort of like a stripe or um uh, rectangle i'm going to take some white sugar paste because i want to give her a polka dot dress i love polka dot dress <laughs> but to make the dots of the polka dot as even as i can i'm going to roll out a small sausage sort of like a snake right And when I have a, 
When I have it more or less even, I'm going to cut even pieces of sugar paste so I can make the balls from this. Actually, I think I'm going to cut those in half to make the balls really small. Okay, but try to cut them as even as I can. Okay, once that I have a fair amount of these uh, pieces that I'm also going to be cutting in half, I'm going to uh, start creating some little balls of sugar paste and add them to, let me just cut everything in half here. So we have all the halves that we want, right? So let me show you this part and, and then you can start and then we'll, we'll keep doing it, okay? This part is a little bit tedious, but it looks really, it's going to look really cute later, okay? And I'm going to place them uneven, like one here, one on the on top and down. Like imagine that I'm doing like one down, one up. one down i'm not placing them uh very like on the border of the sugar paste because um we're going to be trimming all of this later okay Okay, to continue pattern, like here we have this shape, so this one should go up here, like, like we're doing a line here, okay? This is one line, this is another line. And we're going to just keep going. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to show you at the end of the result because you know how it's it's mainly the same. Remember, we're going to be working in lines and parallels, okay? So you will have like an even pattern of polka dots. Okay, so now that I have all my polka dots here, what am I going to do? First, I'm going to remove this a little bit and put some cornstarch here for my fabric not to stick and using a big rolling pin i'm just going to press first all the little dots into the sugar paste and after i press them now i'm just going to roll it out but i don't want the circles to look like oval shapes so once i rolled it out up and down I have to also roll it down sideways. So, let me just move it. So they will look more round. And that is how you make a polka dot fabric. Now from this fabric, we're gonna be cutting the, 
the dress of our doll. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hope you like this. Then you can just use it as a fabric for, for example, for a skirt. You can please it. You can, you can. I'm gonna show you uh, later the result of the doll, so you will see how I used it. Okay, guys. For those of you here in class, what we're going to do now is we're gonna cut this and trim it to the side that the size that we need for our doll okay so first of all i'm going to roll thinner the borders of the fabric and i'm gonna cut it with my pizza cutter okay and now I'm going to cut the size, the sides as well. So we're now going to be using this. And this part, we're not going to be using it either. So that way I am left only with the fabric that I need for the dark. So remember, if you want to watch the whole class and you want to know how to place this fabric into your sugar paste doll or to use it in any other sugar paste design, don't forget to enter in my online school, www.theartcakeschool.com. You have the link below. And uh, be part of this school. The enrollment is for free. And inside you have a a lot of free tutorials and things to choose from as well as paid classes that you can take from me uh, thank you so much for watching i hope this little tutorial has helped you and i really really hope to see you at school and don't forget to subscribe to the art cake experience channel so you can keep watching all my tutorials all year long thank you so much and have an awesome awesome christmas and happy holidays to everyone